In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria, approximate by rounding to the nearest 10, and use this rounded answer to check result. You can locate the questions on the massmass.com website under Entry 2. The questions come from different exam boards. We normally start with the non-calculated questions and then we'll do the calculated questions. However, there don't seem to be any non-calculated questions for rounding within this level. So we're going to go straight into the calculated questions. Here is the first one. Alex and his friend go to a concert by car. The two friends share the cost equally. The cost of the journey is £36. How much money does each of them pay? Use the correct symbol for money. Show your working and your answer in the box below. So it's 36 divided by 2. Divided by 2. Which is 18. So each of them will pay 18 pounds. Round 36 to the nearest 10. So 36, that is in between 30 and 40. Right in the middle is 35, so 36 will be about here. This is closer to 40 than it is to 30. So 36 rounded to the nearest 10 is 40. Use the rounded number to check your answer to question 1a. So if we use 40 and we divide it by 2, That gives us 20. Twenty is very close to the 18, the actual number we had for part A. So that tells us that we've done the calculation correctly. We've halved 36 correctly. Lucy puts one box on a trolley. The box on the trolley has a weight of 27 kilograms. The most weight the trolley can take is 50 kilograms. She has another box with a weight of 19 kilograms. Can the trolley take the weight of both boxes? Show why you think this. So the weight of the first box is 27 kilograms and the weight of the second box is 19 kilograms. If we add them together, 27 and 19, that gives us 46 kilograms. 46, that is lower than 50, smaller than 50, so less than 50 kilograms, which means that the tolly can hold both of them. So we're going to say yes. Round 27 to the nearest 10. So 27 is between 20 and 30. So, more than 20, but less than 30. 25 is right here in the middle. 27 is about here. That's closer to 30 than it is to 20. So, we're going to round it to 30. Use the rounded number to check your answer to question 2a. Okay, so that is 30, 30 add 19, that gives us 49, Forty nine is very close to the 46, so that shows us We've done the calculation correctly. The workers count the number of cabbages they have picked. Ben, 46. Kai, 36. Tom, 64. Ben works out how many cabbages were picked in total. Going 46 add 36 at 64 equals 146. He rounds each number to the nearest 10 to check his answer. 
show how it does this check. So 4 to 6, that is in between 40 and 50, it's 46. So 6, if it's 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, we round up. So we go to 50. 46 is closer to 50 than it is to 40. 36, that is in between 30 and 40. Looking at the 6 to decide, it is closer to 40. So again, if it's 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, we round up. We go to the higher number. 64 sits in between 60 and 70. This is 4, less than 5. So if it's 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4, we round down. So we're going to go to 60, not to 70. So adding all of these together, get 50, add 40, add 60, gives us 150. And that is close to 146. So that shows that he's done the calculation correctly. Lee checks how much he spent. Water tank, £42. Hose, £18. Bucket, £6. He works out the total. 42 plus 18 plus 6 equals 66. He rounds each price to the nearest 10 to check his answer. Show how he does this check. So the 42, that is in between 40 and 50. But it's just 2. So that's closer to 40 than it is to 50. 18, so that is in between 10 and 20. That's 8 there, so that is very close to 20. So we're rounding it up. We've got 6 there, that's in between 0 and 10. As it is 6, higher than 5, we're going to round up and go to 10. So adding these together, 40, add 20, add 10, gives us 70. And that's very close to the 66 that he's got. The vet nurse works out the bill. The fees cost £48, the overnight stay was £23, and the medicine, £17. She does this sum, 48 plus 23 plus 17 equals £88. She checks her calculation by using approximation, which is rounding. Show how she used approximation to check her calculation. Write your check here. So, 48, that is in between 40 and 50, it's closer to 50 because of the 8. So we're going to round it to 50. 23, that's in between 20 and 30. It's closer to 20. We've got the 3 there. So if it's 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4, we're going to round down. So we're rounding down to 20. Then we have 17. So that is in between 10 and 20. And because of the 7 there, we're going to round up and go to 20. So 50 add 20 add 20 gives us 90. And that is very close to the 88. A gardener checks the temperature inside the greenhouse. Greenhouse temperature 62 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature should be 80 degrees Fahrenheit. How many degrees hotter should the greenhouse be? So it should be 80, but it's 62. So we're going to do 80, take away 62 to work out how many degrees hotter it should be. So 80, take away 62, gives us 18. So 18 degrees Fahrenheit hotter. Check your answer to A, part A of the question, using approximation. Write your check here. So we've got 80, that's 
rounded to the nearest 10. So 80 rounded to the nearest 10 is 80. Take away 62 rounded to the nearest 10. What is that? 62 is in between 60 and 70. It is closer to 60 because we've got the 2 there. If it was 65, 66, 67, 68 or 69, we'd round it to 70. But because it's 62, we're going to round it to 60. So 80 take away 60, that gives us 20. And that's very close to the 18 that we had as our answer to part A. So it shows that we've done the calculation correctly. And this is the end of the questions.